All right, Shalom. Uh, this is the part two from the uh, from the video I made. It's called "We Love Our Women." All right, and then we're gonna go straight into it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I suggest that you watch the part one, and in the part two, we're gonna get into uh, the thoughts. All right. And so, let me get settled. So like it. All right, so let's go to let's go to Leviticus. We're gonna go to Leviticus. All right, Leviticus, the nineteenth chapter. Is that doing wrong? Why I got two? Oh, okay, okay. So we're gonna go to. No, actually, we're going to go to Genesis, the first, uh, not the first, Genesis, the third chapter. We're going to start at uh, verse 16. Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. All right. And in, in sorrow, thou shalt bring forth children and thy desire shall be toward thy husband. He shall rule over thee. Now, like I was saying in the first video, your husband shall rule over you. That's not saying your husband's supposed to put his hands on you and, and beat you, you know, call you bitch hole. You know, he's that's not that's not how you rule over your woman. You rule over your woman by telling her good things. Hey, hey, baby, you know. We we are this people, you know, hey, we the we the Israelites, you know, the commandments is this. You know, that's you ruling over your husband. She listens to you. You listen to her. She has a problem with something. All right. The husband is supposed to be uh, uh, something that her woman is supposed to uh, look to, you know, not like an idol, you know, but well, yeah, she, well, no, the husband is supposed to be the example, you know, so. The woman is supposed to be ruled over by her husband, you know. The, the husband is the head. That's what I'm saying. So that's how you're supposed to deal with your woman. You're supposed to love her, all right? And this also goes to explain why women have uh, uh, pains, you know, birth pains and so forth. But in the kingdom of heaven, that will be done away with. Why? Because we won't be under the curses anymore. The Hebrew Israelites will not be under the curses. All right. So your desire uh, for the Hebrew Israelite woman, she already know this. So this is not going toward you. You already know this. Um, I'm about to get into these thoughts, though, because that's who we don't love. All right. So let's get into Leviticus. 19. Let me find it. So this is Leviticus 19 and let's see. So like him in the wrong page. Leviticus 19 and 20 was 26. No. Bear with me. Forgot where it was. So like here. Damn, where is it? Where'd it go? Just bear with me. So lucky I forgot where the page, what uh what the scripture was. Might be just skipping over it. Oh, here it goes. So like, okay. So it's Leviticus um nineteen and twenty nine. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Let me let me bring that up. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Lest the land fall to whoredom and the land become full of wickedness. And guess what? America has become a land full of wickedness. And the land has fallen to whoredom. What you see... It's nothing but whores. 
And I'm talking about our people, other nations I don't care about. You are going to have Israelites in other nations and like other nations. All right. So this is this is also applying to you Hebrew Israelites that are scattered around the world that are participating in this. But to you women that have woken up once again, this is not towards you. All right. So many of our women are whores. All right. Now, let's go to uh let's go to proverbs let's get off of this proverbs 11 and 4 a virtuous woman is a crown to her husband but she that make it a shame is as rottenness in his bones so these women right here and other Israelite women that woke up to the truth, you follow the law, statutes, and commandments, you you honor your husband, all right? Uh, that you're you're that virtuous woman. Let's type in the word virtuous. Actually, I thought I had it written down. So let's type in virtuous. Okay, so Oh, no, not virus, damn it. Okay, virtuous. It says having sh having or showing high morals. Are these women virtuous? Hell no. They don't have morals. Morals are not taught here in America, a.k.a. daughter of Babylon, the Babylon the Great. Women are not taught morals here. They do not have morals. To see the girl right here with a tongue out, with with the titties out, they're showing their cleavage. They're wearing these tight pants, and I and I guarantee you, up under them pants they stink, and it's a scripture referring to that in the book of Isaiah. Well, you know what? Let's get into that. So you women out there, um, the daughters of Zion, that's who they are. You women right here, all right. I'm not talking about you all. Actually, I have I have some else to read for you, you beautiful uh, Hebrews like women. All right, the thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. And guess what? These the, uh, these sisters right here are in the count. Uh, but they are the counsel. Uh, they have taken counsels of deceit. All right, they're wicked. All right. The words of the wicked are to lie and to wait for blood. And guess what? These sisters right here, no telling what plan they have in the back of their head. You know, a lot of a lot of men have fallen victim to whores and so forth. I had I went down that road. You know, no telling what type of plans they have for uh, for different men. All right. It says the words of the wicked are to lie and wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall be delivered. So, Lord willing, these sisters and, and like-minded sisters that have come to the truth, all right, you know, your heritage, Lord willing, you're delivered, all right? Uh, what's this? Let, let's, let's, uh, let's speak about, let's speak more about the, uh, the righteous women for right now, all right? So this is uh, Proverbs 31 and 10. And I'm going to jump around. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? Uh, rubies, Slaki. So a virtuous woman, with, that word virtuous means high moral, high moral standards, good, ethnical, well, ethical, upright, righteous, chaste, all right, abstinent, celibate, all right? So you find a woman like how uh, um, these sisters are or like these sisters are, you know, uh, man, that's it's, it's better than uh, uh, stones, rubies, you know, because she's going to be for you. She's going to praise the Lord with you. You know, she's going to be for you. You know, she's going to actually be your ride or die, you know. Now we about to start getting into uh, the wicked Two third women. All right. So let's go to Isaiah. The third chapter. 
All right. Now, well, let me get ready for this. <laughs> All right. So Isaiah, the third chapter, it states, let's start it. Uh, let me get off of this. Let's start at Isaiah 3, verse 16. Moreover, the Yahweh saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty. Let me get out these beautiful sisters right here. Let me get off of that. All right. No. <laughs> All right. Moreover, the Yahweh saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, and walk with stretched forth necks. Look at the, look at the one in the pink. Ain't that neck stretched? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Look at her right here with the tongue with her tongue out. Stretched forth necks. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes. Look at look at her right here. Look at her eyes. Look at her eyes. Now, we're finna get into this word wanton, all right? All right, it says, uh, here you go. Strong's H8265, Saker, Saker. All right, so Saker, it says, Tuago, be wanton. All right, uh, blink. Cock. Ooh, what's that word? Cold, cold. Oh man, I can't even say that word. Cold, uh, coquet, coquettishly. All right, so it says coquettishly. All right, blink coquettishly. Now we're gonna type in this word coquettishly. All right, let me get it. Bear with me. Okay. It says if you act coquettishly, you behave in a flirtatious way. All right. Fashion does uh fashion pho photographers often direct models to pout coquettishly at the camera. Hey, so let me let me type this in. Salaki. Let's see. Cole Que what the hell? Coquettish, let me hopefully it pops up. Coquettish Lee. Let's see what we get. Oh. Let's see. Oh. See? See? That's coquettishly, all right? And you see the daughters of Zion do that all the time, you know? Where is it? Damn, I didn't mean to exit out for that. So, lock you. So, where they go? See? Coquettishly. That's what they do, all right? The Bible is, is, is man, is real. All right. So it says, uh, let's keep reading. Let me get off of this. Okay, walking and mincing as they go and making a, a twinkling with their feet. I'm talking about when they put on those bracelets and ornaments and shit, you know. Therefore, the Lord will smite them with a scab of the crown of the head. Baldness that's going into being bald. All right. Uh, look at all that shit. Jake kissing each other and shit. Let me see if I can uh pull up another another tab. Damn, I'm all over the place. It's like you phone tripping. All right, so let's get off of that. Old thoughts. <laughs> that, that was from the last video. All right, so it says, um, uh, well, I forgot, I think they call it Akeisha. Well, uh, 
Elkeisha, I forgot what they called it. No, 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 bald head. I meant, I meant to put bald head, Salakia. Spelling it wrong. Damn, Salakia. I can't, uh, I, I forgot. I think they call it Elkeisha. So like y'all know what I'm talking about, but I can't find it right now. I can't think of the right word. So so lucky about that. Uh, damn. So anyway, that's why they put the weave in their head. Y'all get it. I ain't gotta, you know, I ain't gotta go through all that. Uh so, you know, I, I ain't finna go through all that. So anyway, let me get back on these sisters. All right, all right, so let's keep reading. The Lord will smite with the scab of the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Yahweh will discover their secret parts. In that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet, their cause. Let's go on the cause. It says their cause. Strong's H seventy six thirty six, Chevy Seen, Chevy Seen, Chevy Seen. All right. It says front band for a women's head. It says for an unused root, meaning to interweave a netting to the hair. So that's weave. All right. Bear with me while I get off of this. All right, it says, In that day the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and their cause and their round tires like the moon. Their round, their round tires like the moon. Their earring, their earring, all right? That's what that goes back to, all right? They didn't have, uh, you know, they, they couldn't explain what this big ass earpiece was back in the day. That's the earring. All right. Isaiah 3 and 19. It says the chains and the bracelet and the mufflers, the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs. That's the tinkling and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and nose jewels. All right. Now on this, um, uh, Picture, I don't see no, I don't see these sisters with the with the little nose jewels, um, the nose uh, piercings, the changeable suits of apparel, and the mantles, and the wimples, and the crispy pins. Oh, let's go into that. The crispy pins. All right. Bag, purse. All right. What's what's that word for bag and purse? So this is the word for bag and purse. Strong's H twenty seven fifty four. Charit, charit says charit. All right, let's go on to uh in the wimples. Come on, damn it. Strong's H, 4304, Med Pachath, Med Pachath. All right, so it says veil, wimples, cloak, a wide cloak for a woman, veil, wimple, all right? So the Lord's going to take all this away, all right? That that pride, that uh, the so-called Negro woman. Latino one uh, woman have, you know, I don't need no man type spirit. All that shit is going to be done away with. All right. Let's keep reading because I don't want to make this too long. All right. Uh, the glasses and the fine linen and the hoods and the veils. And it shall come to pass that instead of a sweet smell, there shall be stink. And instead of a girdle, a rent. So, so like, 
and instead of a girdle, a rent, and instead of well set hair, baldness. I think it's Elokisha or something like that. But Keisha, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and instead of a stomach acre, stomacher, a girding of slack off and burning instead of beauty. All right. So, and that, and that's what's going on. Like that Cardi B song, WAP, you know, uh, uh, wet ass pussy. Yeah, it might be wet, but guess what? It stinks. That's what this is going into. All right, you women, y'all rocking these pants. Look, Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5, it's abomination for, for a man to wear a woman's garment and for a woman to wear a man's garment. The Lord set it up so women wear dresses for a reason. Y'all got to air out down there and stay fresh. You know, y'all don't have uh, 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 externals. Y'all have internals. Y'all have to breathe down there, man. You know? And these women, you know, uh, Lord willing, they still in the truth. They know that. They know the Lord woke them up for a reason, man. E either they with a Hebrew Israelite man or they're not. So anyway... Let's go into some more in, in, uh, into scriptures. You know, I kind of took too long with that, but just trying to make my point. All right. Now, I read 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter. All right. Let's go. Mm, we can start at 26. 2nd Ezra, 16, 26. The grapes shall ripen. And who shall tread them? For all places shall be desolate of men. All right. So America, Babylon the Great, is going to be desolate. All right. And guess what? Right here in Isaiah, the third verse, I mean, third chapter, 23 verses, thy men shall fall by the sword and thy mighty men in the war. So that's how the Lord is going to take all this away from them. That, that pride, I don't need a man type shit. All that shit's gonna be gone. Y'all gonna need a y'all gonna need a a, a man to protect y'all, you know. And this is scripture going to say how it's gonna be uh, houses uh, 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 rifled, women ravaged. All right, y'all know what uh, women being ravaged means. That that goes back to rape, straight up. So like you, let them type in women ravaged, ravaged. Salaki, I think that's how you spell it. Where is it at? Salaki, I can't find it now. I think it was in Zechariah. Let's go into Proverbs. Okay, let me type in something else. Let's go to houses. Rifled. I know that's how I remember that's how it uh how it went. Bear with me. Yeah, Zechariah 14 and 2. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle. All right. Jerusalem represents your so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanic, Native American, and Seminole Indians. We're the Hebrew Israelites. Jerusalem is a people for us a place. And the city shall be taken, and the houses rifled, and the women ravished. And half of the city shall go forth into captivity, and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Because the Lord's going to have a certain remnant that's going to be saved. All right? Second Ezra uh, 16 and verse 33. The virgins shall mourn having no bridegrooms. The women shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine. So we know that this World War III is about to kick right back off. Uh, not right back off. It's been popping off, but it's gonna get uh, it's gonna intensify. All right. 
And a lot of men, because there's going to be a draft, they're not going to have no choice but to have a draft. These other nations got, uh, uh, you know, uh, hundreds of millions, you know, of, of troops, 900 million. Not, not 900, yeah, 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 China. You know, they have one of the largest militaries, you know. All right, so let's let's get off of that. Let's get some more scriptures. This is Ecclesiasticus or the book uh Sirach. All right. It says uh Let's start at Sirach 7 how much time I got left? Okay, so rock seven and twenty-five. No, well, yeah, twenty-three. Has thou children? Instruct them, and bow down thou, uh, Slakia, and bow down their neck from their youth. Has thou daughters? Have a care of their body, and show not thyself cheerful toward them. So when you have a little girl, you know, for you men to have little girls, you know, I mean. You don't be just hard on, but you 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 watch over your your daughters more than your little boys, you know, especially here in the Bab in uh, Babylon, the Great America, because uh, they can be taught all these different uh, philosophies and ways, you know, uh, and, and uh, they'll dress however they want, you know, uh, they'll turn into uh, this. These these girls, I guarantee you, they don't have. No, no father figured around, and I guarantee you, if they did, uh, it was their mother, their mother's boyfriend. And guess what? A lot of those men, you know, they tend to to molest them, you know, turn them into whores, you know, while the mama's gone, daddy's doing the uh, stepdaddy, so called, doing all types of shit to them, you know, and and this is what happens, all right? Um, marry thy daughter. Not meaning actually put a ring on her, but you know, uh, you keep her in your household. You 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 keep her like like she's you know she's your daughter, man. You don't just give your daughter up to anybody, to any other, to any to any old man. Marry thy daughter, and so shalt thou have performed a weighty matter. But give her to a man of understanding. So your daughter is supposed to be given to a Hebrew Israelite man. So your daughter won't end up being like this, and she'll come out being like this. All right. This is this is how you want your daughter to be. This is a glory unto the father and to the mother whose daughter ends up like this. I'm like, oh, wow. You know, this is real feminism. All right. All right. Um, thou has a that like you has thou a wife after thy mind forsake her not, but but give not thyself over to a light woman, you know. A woman that's that's going to uh, <laughs> raise hell, you know, and, and so forth and, and, and not listen to you. All right. Let's get some more scriptures. Um, Gaze not uh, Salakia. So rock nine and five. Gaze not on a maid that thou fall not. By those things that are precious unto her. All right. So a pretty woman, you know, uh, uh, don't keep your eyes on a, on a pretty woman. Don't give yourself over to, to a pretty and beautiful woman. You know, I'm not saying you're supposed to, you know, have a ugly woman. But, you know, like these women, I ain't gonna lie. You know, they really, you know, they attractive women. But when you give yourself over to this, you know, it, it's a trap. You're going to end up fucked up. All right. Give not thy soul unto harlots. These are harlots. Hoes, dots. All right. That thou lose not thine inheritance. Look not, uh, Salakia. Turn away that iron from a beautiful woman and look not upon another's beauty. For many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman. For his wit, love is kindled as a fire. All right, so there you have it. You know, don't don't fuck with these women right here. The Lord is gonna uh, uh the Lord will ha will grant you 
a righteous woman. Uh, let's see. I, actually, I thought I had that. Yeah, I did. Salaki, let me uh get that. It's in Ecclesiastes, the seventh chapter. Uh, Salaki, bear with me. I'm almost done with this sit down. Let me let me see if I can find it. The portion of a wicked woman is given to a wicked man. Bear with me. Yeah. Oh, okay, I was in the right chapter. I switched it. It's Ecclesi uh, Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, the 26th chapter. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so lucky. All right, and harlot, and harlot shall be accounted as spittle. You know what spittle is, right? You spit on the ground, you walk off. You know, you spit something in the in the, in the garbage. That's what the harlot is like. These these girls are like unto spittle, and harlot shall be accounted as spittle. But a married woman is to a tower against death to her husband. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man. But a godly woman is given to him that fear the Lord. And guess who's that godly woman? These women right here. Salaki, not them. Well, this sister, but not that one right there in the middle. That's like it's an Edomite too. These sisters are, are the godly women. All right. Let's read it again. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that feared the Lord. A dishonest woman, uh, a dishonest woman, contemneth shalakia. Uh, shalak a dishonest woman contemneth shame, but an honest woman will, will reverence her husband. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. But she that is shame faced will fear the Lord. All right. And uh <laughs> them women, them girls, so like I mean to call them women. Them girls right here, they're not shame faced. All right. A woman that honored her husband shall be judged wise of all. But she that dishonored him in her pride shall be counted ungodly of all. All right. I mean that's I mean I I can get more, you know, but I'm, I'm gonna close it out right there. And I read this scripture in uh, the first chapter. I'm gonna read it again. This is uh, Micah. Let me find it. Micah seven and ten. I'm gonna close this out. All right. Then she that is my enemy shall see it. And shame shall cover her, which saith unto me, where is the Lord thy power? So these wicked women right here, all the Israelite women, you so-called Negro, Latino, Hispanic, Native, or similar any woman, all right, that uh, that basically, you know, you didn't take heed to this truth. You you say this to yourself, where is the Lord thy power? And look, it says, then she that is my enemy. So these women right here. They're our enemies, all right? Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which saith unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? My eyes shall behold her. You're going to see what's going to happen to these women that don't uh, uh, repent and come right back to you. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the street in Salakia. I said that I was done, but actually... What I want to read was Isaiah 4 and 1, because this is coming. All right. Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. 
All right. So, Lord willing, women like this, they will get right and they will come to this. All right. That's the seven women taking hold of one man. So you're going to have, there's going to be brothers out there that's going to have maybe more than uh, seven women. All right. When they, when all hell is broken out, you know, when there's not many men out here. You know, uh, cities are desolate. Towns are desolate. You know, they see you walking. You know, you're going to have women come up to you and ask basically, you know, hey, you know, can I go with you? I'll, I'll be your wife. You know, uh, I do I do whatever you want. Just just let me go with you, please. You know, and it'd be up to you in that day if, if you want to uh, choose that, that woman, you know, or those women, you know. In these times now, you know they choose you, but really it's gonna be the other way around, like like how it was in the uh, in the ancient world. All right, in that day, Isaiah four and two. In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. Escape from what? The judgment that's coming here to Babylon the Great and to other parts around the world, mainly here in America. All right. So the ones that escaped from that, from the judgment, from the martial law, you know, uh, the microchip, you know, uh, the race wars, those men, which are the the the, uh, the Lord's men, uh, the men of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, all right, women will be joined unto them. But you will have some women that be in certain places, you know, the Lord's going to deliver them, you know. Like if there's not no man around, you know, just it just happens like that, you know, you you can be delivered by the Lord, all right? You have to have faith. It's all about faith. So with that, I'm gonna say all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kafdash, double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect the nation of Israel. And uh, I want to say, you know, hopefully these two uh, sit downs, you know, the part one and part two. Will uh will, will heal, you know, some of the the women that have answers, and the men too. Mainly, you know, this is about the women. The the Hebrews are like women, you know, the two third, and the women that's already awoke, you know. And hopefully, this this video was really edifying, you know, because many people don't don't watch my videos or or look at them that long, you know. So, shalom.